Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a review and a how-to on the CanDo Pro. Um, this is the programmer, very common used for uh, programming keys and doing diagnosis on your SeaDo skis. Um, I have the unlimited shop version. Uh, there's also the home version. The home version is about $400 and you have four licenses for four skis. So basically, after that, you have to, um, after you pair them with your, your uh, skis, you have to, if you want more, you have to um, buy more licenses. They're about $100 or $125 a license. Um, but if you have, a, if you go through a lot of skis like I do, you'll want to get the Unlimited, the Unlimited Shop Pro. This is about $1,700, $1,800. And if you go through a lot of, a lot of skis, and uh, this will be very, very well worth it. Uh, if you're planning on programming keys and doing diagnosing to make bit money or anything for business, uh, or if you have more than four skis in your in your fleet, you definitely want the shop Unlimited Pro. Um, now, the uh, the the whole CanDo program is really great. It connects to your laptop. You have to download the software, um, and you can see hours on it. And with the carb skis, you're very limited. Basically, you can program keys and you can see hours. The hours are divided into different categories. You have the total hours, which you can't adjust on the computer. Then you have the rental hours and the maintenance hours. The rental hours and maintenance hours are basically like trip meters. You can reset those. And uh, there's a date thing in there you can when you know when it was reset. Um, so you can keep track of how many hours you put on a year or whatever um, based on the computer. Um, but as far as DI goes, this is way more useful for the DIs, uh, the direct injections, because you have all the fuel injections, you have more diagnosing and tuning you can do with this, just way more features available. Um, you can test fire your, your um, air injectors, um, in, uh, fuel injectors, um, and all that stuff, your valves. But with the carbs, carb skis, you're very limited to basically just seeing and resetting hours and programming keys. Um, so... With that said, let's get let's dive into it. You can get this at Candu uh, Candu Pro.com. The link will be in the description. It comes with uh, you can get this hard case as an e extra option. All the stuff barely fits in it. It's a very very tight fit, um, but it does fit. It's cram fit. I'd probably bypass and not get this case. Get your own little case that will fit everything into it. A little toolbox or something. Um, but let's get into this and show you how it works. So we have our CanDo Pro module here. We have our USB cord going to the laptop. This printer cord here goes to our other cord. Now this has got two sections. If you have a DI ski, uh, ski you'll just need to plug this right into the port into your under your hood or close to your impam there'll be a port just like this but for the carb skis um, with the desk you plug this in and then you have the desk post adapter um, so very handy what you this is what you need for the for the desk post with for the carb skis um, now we're gonna get started here we're gonna load up our software I just put a battery in this. We have an Oaf. Uh, this is a '99 GTI. This is the really the spray painted one that I got on a double trailer with the spray painted '95 XP 717. You guys remember that one? I sold the XP already. Now we're starting it up. We will go through the menus. Um, I guess they have, do have options for Yamaha and Kawasaki and different stuff. We're going with the ski do, can do, or can am. So it says it's looking for the vehicle. Now we're going to put this on the desk post, just like, like that. Just goes on there, just like that. And it says it's looking for vehicle. Cannot find.
Maybe we have a bad desk post. There is paint on this desk post. There we go. Now it says desk detected. We're going to vehicle. We're going to read the vehicle. This MPIM only has 76 hours and 57 minutes. So basically 78 hours on this. Um, Runtime, rental hours was at 4 hours and 57 minutes. We're going to reset that. And then we have last service by. Last service looks like. Uh, if I'm reading that right, it would have been, yeah, 6, 26, uh, or yeah. So June 26 of 23, uh, that's not right. Oh, that's today. That's today's date. It, it already cleared it for today's date. We're resetting that. So now we're at zero. You can put in a customer name here and a date. We have an engine number, M275359. We'll see if that's right. And there's the VIN number, of course. Yep, that matches the one on the hull. Um, so unless someone's changed it, we should be good to go. So now we want to program keys. Go to key. Oops, sorry. I'm going to go to keys right here. Keys at the top of the menu. So this one's currently got four keys. We hold up to eight keys. So we're going to erase all keys. And then we're going to add a normal key. So we have our new key here. And we're going to put that on the post. Key. It registered the key. Now we're good to go. Now we want to write this to the vehicle. Basically, up here, we're going to write it to the vehicle. Vehicle, write vehicle. So it's going to program it. So that is saved in. If you have a beeper that works, that beeper back there is the truck backing up. But if you have a buzzer that works in your handlebar, it should beep at you. Okay, so our key is programmed. We take that off of the here, and it should work. It should work on the desk post now. So now we're gonna shut down our software for now. to disconnect here and we're going to test our new key beeper don't work on this but there is a lot of paint we're not getting anything Okay, let's try this again. There's a lot of paint on that. Someone painted this stupid desk post. Maybe it didn't save it. So we're at desk detected again. Vehicle, read vehicle. It shows the key is in there. 
it shows that key is in there. I'm going to try a secondary key. says it's saving the data now it's should be good to go okay let's try it again try this key Okay, so I think what we have here across the solenoid, so I've got the solenoid here. So we know we're getting power. I think the solenoid might be bad. When we put the key on, It does light up. I can't hit tell if there's a buzzer. Oh, there we go. You hear that? Yep, it's beeping back. You hear it? Oh, there we go. Yep. Might have a stuck solenoid or a stuck starter. But the key is working, so that's a good. So that's how you program keys using the CanDo programmer. Um, if you're looking for a uh, good programmer for diagnosing and programming keys, I highly recommend this. The Buds is also good. Uh, the Buds is a handheld one. You can do it right from the unit. Um, but with the CanDo, you have a laptop and you have a lot more accessible options for tuning and stuff. Um, I prefer the CanDo. Uh, really great. And if you can afford it, get the uh, unlimited shop version. Um, but yeah, we'll get this thing. I'm going to do a compression test on it, see how if that engine is good, um, and see how what we're going to do with this ski. Um, if the engine is bad, it'll probably get parted out. If it's good, I'll probably rebuild the single. This has a single carb. I'll probably rebuild the single carb, replace the oil and gas lines, and then sell it super cheap. Um, so. But yeah, that's how you program keys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please click the like button. Leave a comment. I uh, appreciate it. Subscribe. I'm at 586 uh, subscribers as of right now, I think it is. Um, and I really appreciate people subscribing. I'd like to get more. Uh, big news coming up in the next few videos. Stay tuned for those. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm hoping to get out and do some riding soon. Uh, have a good, happy, and safe 4th of July. Talk to you guys later. See you in the next video. Hi everyone, this is Josefa. Thank you for watching GC Extreme. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Bye!